Hello, my name is Henning Wehn, German comedy ambassador. Here we are at Adams Park and, uh, well, what can I say, 20 years ago I used to work for Wickham Wanderers in their marketing department. Let's see what has changed about the place, if anything. Yeah, here we are. This is where all the magic is happening, behind the scenes. Uh, no football to be seen anywhere, but the football, football side, different location. This is where the actual work is being done. You name it. Programs, oh, surely there got to be more than that. Uh, contracts, uh, <laughs> um, two for one offers. Look, all that, that's all pictures from the promotion season. Pictures at Wembley, there they are with the trophy. There he is, my attacking partner. And then through here is where you end up on the where you end up on the pitch. Can hear a lawnmower? It's a good sign. Absolutely stunning. I wonder, do you reckon I'm all right to... I've always wanted to, so... Uh, oh. oh, I tell you what, I've got a lot of time now for Winston Bogart sitting on the bench for four years. Oh, I would sit on the bench like this for four years. Oh, really comfy. Oh. Just behind me is the press box, and a few years ago I did a uh, Twitter take over of the uh, Wickham uh, Wanderers account uh, for pre-season, I think against QPR. And uh, yeah, that ruffled a few feathers, especially uh, in the uh, Milton Keynes area. But then you win some, you lose some. And I think I won a few that day. Now, it was really comfortable sitting in these seats when the covers were still on. But now Neil come and he said, take off them covers. I mean, it's even better now. Unbelievable. Special guests, you're allowed to sit on the proper seats. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, so, what's the atmosphere around the club at the moment? What's it like? It's particularly exciting. Um, we've got fans coming back. We, you know, been over a year without fans. Just two occasions where we had a handful in. So that's the exciting thing. We, we had a great season last year, albeit we, we ended up, um, you know, going down by a point last day of the season. But none of the fans got to see it, and that's a tragedy. And I know um, Gaz and the boys are absolutely dead set on making sure that the season we're just about to go into, we'll smash it and we'll take our fans back to the championship. I mean, tell me, you worked in 2003, tell me sort of the journey that ended up with you working within Wickham Wanderers commercial department. I've always worked in uh, sports slash football, so I applied to all the 92 league clubs. How many replied? Oh, quite a few, Good. quite a few. Yeah, yeah, I got a few interviews, but uh, yeah, the, the, this was the only club daft enough to give me a job. Here we are at Marlow Road, Wickham's training ground. Let's have a look. Maybe there's a few old faces from back in the day to bump into. Uh, let's have a look. I mean, I know they've upgraded the place quite a bit. I haven't seen it yet, so uh, very, very curious. Let's have a look. Now I really feel I'm part of Sky Sports, staying in a car park, waiting for a car to arrive. <laughs> oh, and there he is. There's the man. Bayo. Man, you're sure I'm late, you know. <laughs> I'm not sure in the world that I'm all late. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? You good? good, yeah, yourself? Yeah, I can't complain. I can't complain at all. Final season, wrong sport though, isn't it? No, no, no. I'm just trying to embrace every sport, you know what I'm saying? They say that's my size, but I'm just trying to embrace every sport. How you doing? You good? Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking forward to the final season of, of your. Of, is it your last season or is it? Yeah, it's my last dance. It's my again. last season. Is it so again? No, nah, just my last dance. And that's it. <laughs> I might get a contract out of today. The Wall of Fame. Five of uh, Wickham's most iconic managers, uh, starting with. Uh, Brian Lee, well, he was well before my time, but he, I'm sure he's won the Buckinghamshire, Buckinghamshire Senior Cup at some point. Then uh, Martin O'Neill, Laurie Sanchez, he was the manager when I was working at the club. He's definitely the most terrifying person I've ever come across. Uh, Gary, Wado, uh, Gary Waddock, on, uh, well, here he is, the main man, Gareth Ainsworth, right there at the top where he belongs.
Hi, uh, hello, hello. Uh. Oh yeah, look at all that uh, yoga equipment. They've got more stuff here than your average yoga studio. Brilliant. Uh, then uh, we never lose. We either win or we learn. That's a very, very good witticism, whatever it is. It's a good message. Then as a keen cyclist, I'm very, I mean, I really want to try out one of them, and I'm not sure if I'm allowed. Uh, let's see how, hang on, how that, hang on. Let's get in the clips first. Oh. oh, fantastic. I want one like that for how brilliant. When it's raining, oh, this is the best. If I were, if I were to play for Wickham, you would never see me on the pitch. I would just be constantly here on the bicycle. This is fantastic. No diving in here, safe day for on the pitch. Uh, so here we are in the kids room. Uh, I guess everyone has got their own basket. Uh, oh, blimey, when I was young, football boots, they were black. This is the heart of football. This is the kids room. This is where it's all happening. Everything, every small aspect of it is all small, part of the bigger picture. And the small things have to be right so the big thing can work as well and uh, yeah, brilliant to be in here, the kid room. Well here I am with Steve, uh, who is looking after the shirts. Akin Fenway is a bit of an outlier, isn't he? Because surely, I mean, even, even a large one wouldn't be quite large enough for him. So what do you do with him? No, we order the shirts separately for Bayer and they all come in a special size in a separate box, especially they put up for him and it's normally a shop fit as opposed to a match fit shirt. So it, whatever anybody else buys directly in the shop, that's the same sort of shirt that they will wear. This is the dressing room. This is where it's all happening. And uh, yeah, where, where should I? Where? Oh, look, Steve already put my shirt up. Here I am, right next to Akin Fenver, my uh, strike partner. And uh, yeah, let, let me don this and then let's try and impress the gaffer. Which top corner do you want there, Gareth? This could get you a game, Henny. And Gareth, do I get a contract? <laughs> you said I get a contract, but oh you still get it. I'll tell you what. If the tour flops, then come and see me. There might be a chance here. <laughs> yeah. I have been known to give an older player a contract heading, so oh, this, everybody's got a chance. This day is panning out all right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he scored that, honestly. They're all absolutely excellent all 22 players absolutely excellent but uh, i wonder if they're making it a bit too complicated uh i've got tactic board here i reckon what they should try and do it's already four three three i'm not a big fan of that what i like is here have it like this and then stick a fifth man in here let them come back a tiny bit and then the two in the middle you don't need because they can go here and here and then they lump it up front and, well, it's League One, isn't it? Here we are with Mr Wickham himself, Matt Bloomfield. Uh, are you ever getting tired of being called Mr Wickham? No, I love it. Um, 17 and a half years is a long time to be at one football club, so I think I joined just after you. You left the club, so it's been a long time, yeah. but I don't tire of it. I'm enjoying pre-season and, and getting ready for another year, yeah. I had an idea. Um, right. I've developed something. Let me, let me show you what was a different tactical approach because there was a lot of the ball being stuck in the middle of the pitch and all that. Right. So how about, just tell me if I'm wrong, how about you had a system where you have them five, they make sure you keep a clean sheet, yep. and then they lump it up front, and then there's them five trying to score. The only problem with this is there's no midfield, so where do I... I'm not going to play. Yeah, but you were you were near the back there okay, earlier, yeah, weren't we'll you? So that, you can be. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bail up front so he can control it for us. I think I'll put it to the gaffer this afternoon in the office and see what he says. So first game of the season at home against Accrington Stanley. So by how many are we going to win? <laughs> no pressure, Henning. Thank you. <laughs> um, 
It's going to be a tough game. John Coleman, he's done a very similar job to, to the Wickham story, you know, Accrington Stanley. Always been this team that has been in the lower leagues and now, you know, they're League One. That's the highest they've ever been. They're going to be a tough proposition, but uh, it could have been so different. Could have been a championship fixture we were looking forward to, but um, Accrington, tough opponent, worthy opponent. Again, at Adams Park, fans are going to be back. Yeah. I'm predicting a Wickham win, don't worry about it. Very that. good. So we've seen the training ground. We've seen the office I used to work in. But now, this is where we are. This is the pitch. This is where it matters. First time against Eckring Stanley with spectators. Come on, Wickham. Promotion is ours.